This guy right here is Austin Brown, and on this trip, he introduced us to a side of freshwater fishing that I didn't even know existed. I met Austin a little over a year ago in South Louisiana while he was filming for a DUTV episode and I was shooting something else in the same location. When John, our producer, and I found out about his spearfishing adventures, we knew we'd have to go see him in Arkansas. So this summer, we met him and his dad Bruce at Lake Wachita to experience this world. Lake Wachita is the largest reservoir in Arkansas and one of the cleanest lakes in the nation. It's located near Hot Springs in West Central Arkansas, and it was formed by the damming of the Wachita River with the Blakely Mountain Dam's construction being completed in 1953. The lake covers about 40,000 acres and has over 600 miles of shoreline. Also, most of its shoreline is undeveloped since it's surrounded by the Wachita National Forest. So Lake Wachita is a pretty big lake. It's a spot that is mostly all the surrounding area around the lake is owned by the Corps, so people can't build like houses, homes that aren't already in existence. So that makes it pretty nice. Mostly on a Saturday though, it's pretty packed. So we're out here during the middle of the week, only seeing a few people, which makes it nice. Um, this is kind of where I started scuba diving. So they've got a lot of structure sunk here. We're on a kind of a dive park. They've got the, uh, fear, what they call Fearless Rock uh, Memorial for Adam Brown. And then they've got several different houseboats and other structures kind of here. So this is kind of, if you're coming to Lake Washington, this is kind of where you're probably going to start diving. They've got a little walk-in ramp you can come down or you can access it by boat. So this time of year, Catfish is kind of what you're trying to target. This is the chance they're going to be shallower, usually five to ten feet. Where we were before, kind of the first stop was a deeper spot, kind of a brush stop looking for crappie. Here we're going to try to find the catfish. They're going to probably be five to ten feet. We've got a lot of cloud cover, so we're going to try to stay shallow. Obviously, the deeper you get, you start losing sunlight and visibility. So here, usually you can kind of move around ten to fifteen feet is the general depth, and there'll be these catfish will be in these rocks, making beds and stuff like that. So that's what we're going to try to do here. I think this is our favorite lake. We've been to other lakes in Arkansas, but this is probably, if not the clearest, one of the clearest. And uh, it can get crowded on the weekends, but we can still usually find uh, getaways where we don't have to fight the people as much as some of the other lakes that are more busy. Austin and his dad know this lake very well. So we would hop from place to place and it didn't take long to get on some fish. Some of the dangers kind of that I've seen just personally on diving some of this freshwater stuff is visibility is a main issue. There can be many times where you'll be diving along and it'll be clear the next thing you know you'll kick up some mud or something and then it'll just be completely murky. And so you kind of always got to be aware of your surroundings and kind of where you are specifically. A lot of the other things that aren't in the ocean, like if you dive in the ocean, most of the time you're going to be free of any obstacles unless you're doing a wreck dive or something. Here in the freshwater, especially like Washita, there's a lot of older trees and stuff like that that are still standing and so you may run into a tree or have your uh you know your air hose catch on something so the main thing is you got to not panic first of all and then be able to assess the situation and realize kind of what's around you and then be able to maneuver from there so anybody want to try to get a spear fishing the first step is obviously basic dive certification that's going to be kind of a lot of these places too have classes like in a pool setting uh controlled environment where you can go see if you even enjoy it because I've several people I know have got down here and felt claustrophobic it may not be your thing so that would be the first place to start and then after that probably buy your own equipment or you can rent and some of these local dive shops have places you can rent stuff and then it's just going to be getting a spear gun and, and making sure you know the limits and the as far as and the lengths of how long the fish need to be because just about every fish has a minimum and so that's going to be you know knowing your regulations and getting down there just trying it out. <laughs> this is how it normally happens. <laughs> we ended up with more fish than the four of us could eat, including the striper that John caught on a rod and reel. 
and so we had a fish fry to finish off the day. This quickly became one of my all-time favorite trips, and afterwards, John and I rolled south to Texas to film a fishing piece on the coast and to learn about some great habitat management, so keep your eye out for those videos.